Hi you guys, it's Karen with Love Your Land. And uh, I have about two days, maybe three, uh, where we're not gonna have thunderstorms. And so I'm desperately trying to get all my tomatoes in these beds before that happens. So they have a little bit of a chance to acclimate um, before they get pummeled with rain or, or any of that stuff. Um, so I wanted to, this is gonna be a real quick video. I'm just gonna show you how I transplant tomatoes. The first thing I'll tell you is I keep it really simple. I always do. Um, anything that's complicated is sort of just not my thing. Um, I just I start out with really good soil. This soil is is excellent. Um, it, I, I just added a bunch of mushroom compost um, and actually some peat moss, which I've never used before, but I am um, this year because the soil erosion was pretty severe in these beds. So um, you know you need a good 12 inch um, soil depth for your roots to really be able to um, spread out and and have the space that they need to grow and thrive. And this was probably only at about eight inches of soil so um, I added what I could anyway like I said all I do is I I don't I don't get real fancy I know a lot of even my good friends when they transplant their tomatoes they have these elaborate recipes that they <laughs> use um, and I just I don't do that I start out with good soil and this year I'm using trifecta um, and I know what the product did for my plants inside I know what it's gonna do out here it's gonna be all I need so um, I thought I'd just show you what I do so, I think that this is going to fall over, pretty sure, which is why I have this support here, but that's okay. We put it right back. Yep. Okay, so we have, this is a Roma tomato. Problem child. Okay, so... Basically, I dig a big hole. Bigger than the plant really needs. Um, but I want, when I put that soil back, I want it to be nice and loose and fluffy for the plant, uh, for the roots. Find weed. Um, and I want the plant to have plenty of, like I said, just uh, plenty of loose, fluffy soil around where it's going to live. I'm going to take a heaping quarter cup of trifecta, add that in there, and then take a little of the soil that I just took out and mix it back in, and just mix that in with the trifecta so that I don't have hot spots of plant food um, touching the roots. It's, it, this is a pretty, um, pretty awesome fertilizer, so I'm not real concerned about it burning it. Um, but it is better to have uh, a nice, even uh, soil fertilizer uh, base, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so now I have two, three, I have four plants in here. And yes, I'm doing this on purpose. Um, those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I plant multiples together, and I do that on purpose. Um, one, it saves space inside. That's the original reason that I did it. And the other reason is, not to sound like a broken record, but we have really harsh summers here. And so the, I've found that these multiples uh, support each other. And really fare well when the, uh, not fare well, but they fare well when the storms come. So, and storms, you know, hail can be pretty damaging to your tomato plants and other plants. Um, and so, the stronger I can, the better, better chance they have to support themselves and each other, the better. So what I just did is I, re and I'm going to do it a little bit more here in a second, but I removed the lower leaves because I'm going to plant this as deep as I can. Sometimes I do it with my clippers and sometimes I do it with my nails. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as you're not ripping the plant, it's fine. Okay. That's good. I also have uh, flea beetle damage on these plants. Um, pretty remarkable. I've never had flea beetle damage to this extent except one year on cauliflower. So I'm going to gently dump this guy over. It's not really root bound, but it's it's close. Um, we're about two weeks past where I normally would have planted these out, but I just couldn't. It's been stormy, stormy, stormy the entire time. So I'm going to gently set that in that 
planting hole and gently add back in the soil that I took out. I also, I don't know if you just noticed, but I kind of loosened up that root, root base a little bit um, just to give the roots a little, um, a little break out of that little ball that they've been in for six months. And I just add as much soil up around the plant and stems as I can because wherever soil is touching the stems, the stems will grow more roots. And that's a good thing. The other reason is the more soil that they have around the stems, the more deeply they're buried, the more support the plant has in general. Um, the other thing I mentioned too is that it's about 6.30 right now at night. Um, I put these plants out here just in our pots earlier today, but I just let them sit here and kind of hang out. Um, I did water them right when I brought them out. Um, but I'm not, I didn't, I, I didn't plan to transplant them until about now because that way, you know, when you t transplant these guys, they go through a bit of shock. And um, I have found that when you transplant, let's say in the morning, <clears throat> and those poor little transplants have to sit out there in that hot sun all day, it's kind of a lot for them in the beginning. So um, this is a much gentler approach in my book. Um, then I make a little bit of a berm sort of thing with the soil to keep the water, when I water, it keeps the water in with the plant rather than running all over the place. And I will have a drip system set up in about a week or so, so I won't have to worry about that, but for now, that will be helpful. Uh, this is aroma, or these are aroma tomatoes. And my cage is way over there. Stay. I don't remember throwing it that far. Apparently I did. I'm getting attacked by a horsefly. And now I'm gonna give these guys a little cage. I cage them now when they're little. Well, they're not that little, but when they're young. Um, they're pretty little compared to what they're gonna be, right? Uh, but I cage them now or provide whatever support um, when they're young and small and sort of pliable. Once they get bigger and really established, it's almost impossible to stake them or cage them or whatever. So I do it now while I can. Um, and the last thing is water them in really good. You wanna give them that, that first transplant watering with the fertilizer. You want that to, to really get down really far and soak the roots really, really well. So I'll do this and then I'll let it soak in and I'll come back and, and water it some more. Uh, and that's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, I know a ton of you are going to ask me how to get this and I'll put a, a link down below, but it's the MI Gardener store. Um, we talk about it all the time on my page and, and whatnot. So um, anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. I gotta get the rest of these in. See ya.